Excel allows you to build custom functions for yourself. So you can do this even if you don't know how to use Visual Basic, you should be able to do this without any issues. So first let's start with a simple example. Let's say I know the monthly return of a fund is 2.3%. So here I'm gonna say monthly return. Now I wanna know what that return would be annualized. So I'm gonna take that return plus one raised to the 12th minus what? Okay, 31.37%. Now this is a formula I use all the time. Let's say I wanna create a custom function for this formula. So first I'm gonna open up my Visual Basic Editor. On a Mac, you can do function option F11, and a little project window like this is gonna pop up. Now go to insert, module. Now the first thing to do is you're gonna write function. Space, and the name of your function. Here I wanna take monthly returns and annualize them, so I'm gonna call mine M-A-N-N, -N, monthly annualized returns. Parenthesis, you're gonna put the name of your input, monthly return. And this function is only gonna have one input. And then you'll see it automatic populates the end of the function. So this is a very straightforward function. I'm just gonna write the name of the function equals, and then I'm gonna type out the formula. So it's one plus monthly return, sorry, I'm a terrible typer, raised to the 12th minus one. And that's it, done. So now, if I go back to my spreadsheet, and I say equals M-A-N-N, -N, parenthesis, and then I'm gonna click on my monthly return. It's gonna annualize it for me, 31.37%. Wonderful. Now let's say that I don't only wanna be able to annualize monthly returns, but also daily returns. So here I'm gonna put in daily return, and let's say the daily return is 20 basis points. So now I want a function that can annualize a daily or a monthly return. So I'm gonna go back to my Visual Basic Editor, and under this function, I'm gonna type a new function, function. This one we're gonna say A-N-N, -N, annualize. And I'm gonna put in my inputs. Say return, R-U-T, comma, you separate your inputs with a comma, periods. Now my function, A-N-N, -N, is equal to one plus return raised to the number of periods we want to annualize for, minus one. So now, if I have a daily return, I can use my new function, equals ANN, -N, and I'm gonna put in the return first, comma, the number of periods. So if it's a daily return, we want to annualize it, there's gonna be 250 trading days, and so that's annualizing at about 65%, not too shabby. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.